Hi, welcome to the practice questions on being able to calculate a volume of a prison that's made up from various cuboids. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at question one and two, and then when you're happy with your answers, then restart the video and check your answers with against my model answers. So if you pause the video now, have a go at questions one and two. Hi there. Okay, let's go through these now together. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the volume of these prisms. Now these are these prisms are both made up of various cuboids. What I'm going to do for the first one here, I'm going to split this into two bits. So I'm going to split this one down here like that. I'm going to label this side or this rectangle A and this rectangle B. And what I need to do is I need to work out the area of both these rectangles and then add them together to give me what's known as this part here, the cross-sectional area. So I'm going to work these out now. Question, uh, sorry, rectangle A. Well, it's got uh, a length here of 10 and a width of 3. So area is length times width. So I multiply the 10 by the 3 which gives me an area of 30 centimetres squared. Now I'm going to look at B. B has, well, it's certainly got one length here as five, but the other one's missing. We need to work that out. We need to find this part here. Please don't make the mistake of using this as a length, because this, of course, contains part of this rectangle as well. If this bit's 3 and the bottom part opposite it is 8, then this length will be given by the difference between the two. 8 take away 3, because 3 add 5 is going to give you 8. So 8 take away 3 gives me 5, so that's a square. Multiply that together, 5 squared or 5 times 5 gives you 25 centimetres squared. If I then add those together, that's going to give me the area of the cross section. So 30 add 25 gives me 55 centimetres squared. Now all that's left to do to convert that to a volume is to multiply the 55, the cross sectional area, by however deep or long our cuboid is, which is 5. So 5 times 55, well 5 times 50 is 250, 5 times 5 is 25, add them together, we get 275, and the units are centimetres cubed, because it is now a volume. Okay, question 2. There's two ways of doing this. We could split this up here to make a rectangle here, a rectangle here, and then this little rectangle here. But I think it's easier to do it by means of subtracting this part here. If we work out the area, I'm going to just draw this in red, if we work out the area of the whole of this, all the way along there, all the way down there, like that, this rectangle here, and then we can subtract this part here from that, and that will leave us with this bit that's left here, the cross-sectional area. So, Let's do 8 by 12 first of all. So 8 times 12 is going to give us 96 centimetres squared. And then we need to take this section here, this small rectangle, away from that. Well, I know this is 6, but what am I going to times that by? I need this length here. Well, same as we did on question 1. If this is 12 and this is 2 and 2, that must be 4. So 4 add 8 is going to make up the 12 there. So 4 add 8 gives us this missing part here. So 6 times 8 gives us 48 centimetres squared. So now we need to subtract the 48 from the 96 which of course leaves us with 48. So our cross-sectional area here is 48 centimetres squared. And then all we have to do is multiply the 48 
by the 8. So we do 48 multiplied by gives us 384. And of course, this is centimeters cubed.